Hey guys, as you travel around Japan, most of the bigger and older trees that you will see are usually in protected places like shrines and temples, public parks, national parks, places like that. Because obviously, with 127 million people living on some fairly small islands, over the years, most of the big serious trees have been removed and used to build houses and buildings. So usually what we're left with outside the protected areas is areas like this where we have pine forests, plantation forests that are planted specifically for timber. So these ones here have been cut down. They're ready to be dragged down the hill and put on trucks and taken off to the sawmills. So that's fairly typical. And around the houses, usually you don't see much in the way of big trees at all. And then big sawmills like this one, obviously collect them, grade them, put them into different sizes and categories and then cut them up. So usually softwood, usually pine. There's some other timber as well. People who know all about timber will probably be able to recognize some, but usually softwood. So that's a big sawmill there. And then in the countryside and in the mountains, quite often you come across little sawmills where they've, they go out and they collect the timber themselves and bring it back and cut it up and sell it off to their customers. You can just about smell that, can't you guys? <laughs> a beautiful smell. Freshly cut pine is a beautiful smell, really is. So if you're into wood and timber and you're traveling around in Japan, you will come across these mills. Usually not open to the public, of course, but see the logs lying on the ground there waiting to go through the mill? So yeah, usually they're not open to the public, but you're about this far away, you'll get that beautiful smell. You'll hear the sound of the the, the saws cutting up the, the wood. Get the pine smells floating around. Beautiful. So that's pretty much what you usually come across is the soft wood. As you can imagine, it grows quickly, so it's cheaper to produce. Hardwood's pretty rare. We'll show you some in a minute, but it tends to be rather expensive. So if you go to the home centres, usually if you want to buy timber, best place to go is to the big home centres. Here's, it's winter, so that's firewood. So that's about $10 for that little wrap of firewood there, which would keep you going for about a couple of hours, wouldn't it, in a fireplace? About $10 for a little wrap. So compared to some countries, Probably even the softwood's a little bit expensive. So big home, home centers like this, pretty much all softwood. Occasionally they might have a piece of hardwood that's featured that, that they sell as a rough piece that will often be, just be kept as a rough piece and used as a decoration because they are so rare. Decorative pieces of hardwood are so rare that usually they don't cut them, they just keep them as they are and feature them. And other than that, it's all softwood. So here's a couple of examples of the hardwood. See that piece lying there against the left-hand side of the picture? And a couple others against the wall over there as well. Quite often, they'll just lacquer them just like that and stand them up in the entrance to their house. There's a couple of pieces there ready to go. They could be three, $400, possibly more. And they'll just leave them just like that. They'll lacquer them up and stand them up in the genkan or just inside the genkan probably the rougher the better the, the the japanese thinking about these things is that that rough wood is a beautiful thing in itself so these pieces you can see here these funny looking shapes and things they'll keep them just like that and just lacquer them up use them as a feature in their house but very expensive a few hundred dollars each for sure <laughs> anyway there it was more videos Coming soon.